I grew up in Worthington, Ohio, and I think it was a great place to grow up, to connect with nature. You know, with the metro parks being so prevalent in the city, the Columbus Zoo being right there. That's something that I really think shaped what I do now, is being able to go out and find wildlife and explore. My name is Justin Grubb. I am a science communicator. So I do wildlife filmmaking, wildlife photography, I write articles about wildlife conservation, I do photo galleries, and that's always been the focus, conserving wildlife. So my background is in wildlife biology going out and taking data, doing population viability analysis. But while I was doing all that, I sort of realized that there was another element to conservation as well. And that's the storytelling, that's the connecting with people. You know, working with the general mass public and getting them to understand how they impact the environment and these species. Because conservation really is a people problem, you know. The animals didn't do anything to get themselves in this situation. It's what people have done to the environment. And in order to change that environment for the animals, you have to go to the root cause, which is the people. And so by doing that, you know, I really got into photos. I really got into video. I really got into writing. My love is wildlife. I show that love through education and I educate through visual media and storytelling. We're sitting at the Grange Insurance Audubon Center and on the walls here is a photo gallery called Conservation Through a Lens. Having Justin who is known for his work with National Geographic is just um, I think it's a surprise for Grange Insurance Audubon Center to have him here and we're very excited about uh, what his artwork does and how it connects to the bigger stewardship and conservation. When you look at the center you'll see photos along the walls that all depict animals that have very unique interesting conservation programs, initiatives, strategies associated with them. There's the Hall of Threatened Species which each photo depicts its own conservation initiative. But then we've got, you know, the Forgotten Wolf, which is an entire sequence of photos that describe um, a single conservation initiative from start to finish. And then there's the Planet Indonesia Gallery, which talks about how an organization in Indonesia is doing conservation work through um, community development, which is a really unique strategy that I think should be adopted more around the world. People really connect with a good story. And so with these photos, they all kind of convey their own little story. You know, you're getting a snapshot of the animal's life through their eyes, in the moment, in their environment, behaving naturally. and. As a photographer, I live for those moments. It feels like everything just is still on earth and the only thing that matters is you and this animal and you're just trying to capture the moment as it happens. One of the most exciting things I'd say about the gallery is its interactiveness. Each photo has a little card next to it that explains its range um, the conservation project associated with the image, but also as a QR code that allows you to connect to a website called Conservation Through a Lens that has more details about that animal. You can read more about the initiative and you can even donate to the initiative if that's your thing. But there's also other really cool elements to this gallery as well. There is a, a section where you can draw an animal and contribute to the gallery. We'll also have a couple film screenings and there's something that I built called Beyond the Lawn. It's a biodiversity survey where people can learn how to like convert their lawn into usable wildlife space. No matter where we are in this world, we live on this world with animals, insects, 
plants and other things and what we do affects how they live and oftentimes we don't make that connection and so I'm really excited for people to see the beautiful work and how he captures it and learn about how they can help make a difference in what we do as humans to help not have those animals become extinct. Bringing my work back to Columbus is really exciting. This gallery brings in a very global perspective on conservation and so you know you're seeing animals from all around the world varying conservation initiatives to help protect them from various threats but everything that you'll learn about is applicable to what goes on on a small scale like Columbus Ohio and so that's one thing that I want people to walk away with is everything is very interconnected and what you do locally has a huge effect on global biodiversity. Columbus is an art-rich community and I'm just, I'm just excited to see what else is down the pike because I think there are a lot more Justins out there.